EA Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you this look at the future stars in the sport of golf. From Hilton Head Island and Harbor Town Golf Links, it's third round coverage of the Hilton Head Invitational. Well, if yesterday was any indication, we should be in for a memorable weekend of golf here as we take in the leaderboard on this Saturday. A number of folks in contention, including our leader. And that a wonderful tee shot. It's in the fairway here to get this Saturday started. Second shot coming up, and we say hello to Iona Steven. 130 yards left to the flag. It's a nice round number. Pin on the right-hand side, so plenty of room to the left of it. go ah, good shot safely on the green and a birdie chance 11 feet away Get up that slope. It is in for a birdie. And she's into double figures now at 10 under par. Here's a chance to make a birdie early in the round. Second hole at Harbor Town is a relatively short par five at a little more than 500 yards. Again, the key, and this is the case all over the golf course. You have to put your tee shot in the right spot. And here it is on that left side of the fairway. That one gonna be in great shape. So following the birdie at one, a solid drive here at the second. Has to be thrilled with that second shot here to the par five. Frank got everything out of that. Yeah, did well just to advance the ball so far down the fairway. And now a fairly straightforward third shot. From four feet for birdie. Can't ask for a better start to a round than this. It is back-to-back -back birdies at one and two, and she'll move to 11 under. This third hole at 469 yards is pure Harbor Town. It's narrow. The emphasis here is on hit your tee shot in play, and a par is a good score, I promise you. Starting this one a little to the left. Long drive, but a bad lot. 
uh, wicket. And that ball looked good in the air. You'd like it to be a little closer, but still, inside 40 feet, just going to have to be careful with the lag putting. Nicely done. It is a par here at the third. And she's going to remain a shot back. This is vintage Pete Dye, isn't it? Risk and reward, 200-yard par 3 fourth. Obviously, you need to carry that water hazard running the entire length of this hole. You're going to miss. You miss right. Uh, you don't want to miss it short or long, that's for sure. Uh, that's where the Gators are waiting for some golf balls. Yeah, very good shot, taking it in right of the hole, and good look upcoming. Five feet now for birdie. Yeah, that's a well-played hole. It's a birdie here at four, and she'll move to 12 under par. The fifth hole at Harbortown is the second of the three par fives at 549 yards. A good drive should leave players with the chance to try and reach this green in two, but one larger and one smaller bunker protect the left side of this deep but narrow green. starting to push this one a little left. Wayward from the tee, and this one is headed for the rough, Frank. Okay, that worked out well, landing just short, releases onto the green. Still a long ways to go, though, to make the eagle three here. Yeah, at least you get a nice enjoyable walk with the putter in the hand, so that certainly works out well. Yeah, you really got to put a charge into it up that slope, and that is fairly well done. Not much to this one. It's for birdie. Yeah, there's another one. Back-to-back -back birdies here at four and five. And she'll get it to 13 under. 
Onward now to the 419 yard, par 46. Dog leg right, best to aim the tee shot to the left of the fairway bunker on the right. Land there and the green is very accessible and a birdie might be in the offing. Just what you want at this point in the round. You're trying to find a rhythm, hit fairways, hit the middle of the club face. That's what they did right there. This is looking really good. Uh, could have just done with a little bit more for breakfast. Just a little short. Maybe I'm being harsh. It's a good shot. Okay, nicely played. That's in for birdie here at six. And she'll move to 14 under par. We've spoken already about the need for precision here at Harbor Town. That'll be put to the test here at the 195 yard par 37. Yes, there's water. Yes, there's sand. But the biggest issue, the two giant trees serving as gatekeepers to this narrow green. So that ball off target and knocked down by the branches of that tree, but at least it's not too far away from the green. Finished off, it'll be a par here at seven, and she'll remain at minus 14. On to the number one handicap hole here at Harbor Town, and fittingly, the one considered the most difficult, the par four eighth at 473 yards. Overzealous golfers could run out of fairway when using the driver, but the approach to a narrow green with a long bunker left and water makes the second shot one of the most harrowing on the course. Rhythm is definitely there today. Another wonderful tee shot. From 163 yards out, this a tough second.
Ah, good approach shot. Birdie putt coming up. But, uh, approach shot just a little right, a little short. Now this for another birdie. Oh, yes. Plenty of pace to get up that slope. It is in for a birdie. And she'll move to 15 under for the tournament. We wrap up the front nine here at Harbor Town with the 332 yard par 4 ninth. What this hole lacks in distance, it makes up for by forcing golfers to be strategic off the tee. A large bunker prevents tee shots from running on, so best to lay up short and take a wedge into this boomerang-shaped green. As picturesque as they come, that is right down the middle. Didn't check, Frank. Yeah, just not enough spin on that, um, really. I mean, that almost, like, took that first bounce and just ricocheted forward. Has to be feeling good right now. Looks good with two straight birdies and seven under on the card. The back nine starts here at the 451 yard par 410. This hole offers one of the few real wide landing zones to take aim at. However, beware of the lagoon left. If you can find the short grass, birdie is very much in play. Turning out to be a wonderful Saturday of golf here, and this, another fine tee shot. This is where club selection is so important. Second shot into that stiff breeze. Just think about it. You, you've got to cover nearly two football fields of distance and get it inside five feet. You wouldn't think that's possible. Well done there. It's a birdie to kick off the back nine. And she'll move now to 17 under. This 11th hole at 436 yards is another test requiring precision over power. This fairway narrows the nearer it gets to this green, which is surrounded by four unique bunkers. Everything flowing really well right now. Coming off three birdies in a row. Here's another solid tee shot as well. Second shot coming up. Let's check in for the first time with Nota Begay the third. 152 to the hole, sitting in the front left hole location.
I'm not quite sure of that strike, whether they got it all, but ball's just come up a little shy. Outside chance for a birdie. Just going to sneak on by. So that rushed in for par here at 11. And the lead's going to remain two. The 12th hole at 430 yards is one of the rare dog leg rights on this course. If you can steer your ball into the fairway off the tee, you'll be left with a very manageable approach to a green flanked by bunkers both left and right. Turning out to be a wonderful Saturday of golf here, and this, another fine tee shot. Perfect spot to play this second, middle of the fairway. Leading is one thing, but hitting iron shots like that, that lead is going to increase. A five-footer now for birdie. Okay, that'll help the cause. It's a birdie here at number 12. And that will move her score to 18 under par. So many visually arresting holes here at Harbortown. This might be the best of the bunch. The 373-yard par for 13th. Architect Pete Dye created some of the best work that golf has ever seen. But credit the design on this hole, as well as the 17th at TPC Sawgrass, to his wife, Alice, who drew up this design. How's this? On a napkin. Be a little disappointed with that because it lands in the rough and it appears to be fairly thick over there. That's a tough lie to come out of. Not surprising it's come up short. Well short right there, but still in the game for a par. Yes, smart play from that distance. Just use the putter to make sure you get the line, and this one goes down for a birdie. On to the 14th now. This one almost a mirror image of number four. It's a par three at 192 yards. At four, the danger was water left. Here, it's on the right with a generous bailout area left of the green.
that one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass. Well, those are the shots that turn what you'd like to be a leisurely stroll out on the golf course into a day of hard work. Yeah, what could have been a tap in is now going to be a grind. Okay, good putt. And a par here at 14. And she'll remain at minus 19. The sole par five on Harbor Town's back nine is this one, the 15th at 588 yards. Most of the problems here come on that second shot, which requires you either to play a big right to left or to cut the angle, hit it over the trees, and hope you've got it online. Turning out to be a wonderful Saturday of golf here, and this, another fine tee shot. Just a good, solid shot right there with that three-wood, Frank. That's an aggressive layup, really, trying to force that three-wood down and get it as close as possible to the green. That's two good shots if you can't reach the par five. Good soft hands, that is nicely done. Chance now for another birdie. Ah yes, never in doubt. It's a birdie here at 15. And she'll move to an even 20 under par. We start to make our way toward the blue waters of Calabogie Sound as we come to the 434-yard par 416th. A well-placed tee shot will leave you with a fairly short iron into a small egg-shaped green. Yeah, good swing and a good result, as that is safely into the fairway. Wasn't right down the middle, but it wasn't bad at all, coming at this second shot from the right side of the fairway.
Well, as an old baseball announcer once said, going, going, gone. Goodbye. And that, not really the best of chips right there. I was expecting something sort of tap in range, but uh, that is anything but. Okay, didn't want to let that one get away. It is a par here at 16, and she's going to stay at 20 under. Two holes remain as we come to the par 3 17th at 174 yards. You'll want to aim right of that one lone tree in the distance, almost like what you see on the South Carolina state flag. And be sure to steer clear of the bunkers here because making par from there, not a sure thing. Okay, that'll come to rest on the front portion of the green, and now a fairly long look coming up for birdie. Now this for another birdie. feet still to go. Mm, got it there, but not quite on target. That one finished off for Bogey here at 17. And fortunately, the lead still a comfortable one at a full four shots. What a finishing hole this is. At 472 yards, the par 418. Most will try to aim just right of that Hilton Head Lighthouse in the distance. And that sets up an approach with trouble left and long and a large bailout area to the right. Turning out to be a wonderful Saturday of golf here, and this, another fine tee shot. Second shot, good look at the green. That's a decent sized green. It's not bad, just a little past the hole. Yeah, it's a birdie at the last. So what a tournament it has been to this point for our featured golfer. They've opened up a commanding lead here after 54 holes. Just a good fit for the golf course, Rich. 